Hello, everyone. So we are in the kitchen of Maddie James. I'm, I'm so excited about this. All right, so your, uh, your style and personhood is like so beautifully on point all the time. Oh, thanks. That's sweet. And I would love to hear you say words about like, how do you feel like yourself when you are in this kitchen, when you are in your kitchen? Well, I'm always in the kitchen. So when I'm in the kitchen, I feel like myself. <laughs> so that's one, two, and three. D, E, and F is that I really like how safe the kitchen makes us all feel, huh. whether you're here for the first time or whether you're here all the time, you know? I think it really is about making things uh, like meaningful, even in the smallest way. So for me, it's really about having cookbooks or books that I love in the kitchen. Um, and I know some people are kind of like up and down about books in the kitchen. I want books all around my house. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel like me. Y'all can't see, but there are books everywhere. There's books everywhere. Bad. Like if you go upstairs in all of the bedrooms, everyone has books. So to me, that's really those little touches. And then to me, I also feel like you find out about people when you see the kind of books they have. The number of times that I have posted just re not book related content <laughs> on the internet and y'all tell me you screenshot yep. and zoomed in. To see no, all zoomed in. The books and they're on like, the shelf. wait, when did you read that book? Or who is the <laughs> author? Yeah, people yeah. get really like really connected yeah. to like the books they have or you have. And so for me, I think that's a really great way to like, you know, add a little meaningful, personalized touch yeah. in the kitchen. I also like things looking pretty. I just, clearly, um, <laughs> I just like it looking feminine and pretty. So a lot of times we'll do live flowers, you know, depending on the season or whatnot. But I also like, you know, like little stands. I love making boards for my children. I've seen that. I'm all about a snack board, Oreos, popcorn, all the things. Yeah. I just like it. It makes me feel good. But also sometimes there's more people around. So we have the oversized board. Mm -hmm. I also like smaller boards. You know, just having like two or three options is always nice. Mm -hmm. Options are nice until they become overwhelming. And this is, oh, that's, <laughs> put that on a shirt, everyone. So no, I, I really love that. And that's such a simple way of looking at it, that you like things to look and feel pretty. Yes. And what I love is that what is pretty to you might not be pretty to right. other people. Right, But that framework is so important for everybody. It really yeah. is. I really, for me, it's all about adding these touches of magic. So meaningful, aesthetically pleasing, goal oriented, you know, like those things really matter to me. And so for me, I love what you said, because if you deem something aesthetically pleasing, but I don't, or maybe I don't even know of something, right? Yeah. When I come into your space and I'm like, kind of exposed to that, it kind of like allows me to redefine what I think is now aesthetically pleasing yeah. too. So I love that, you know, I, and also your style evolves. Like what I thought was pretty pre-kids or like 10 years ago, I, I was so cringeworthy. Like, why do you like that? I it, looked at my wedding photos the other day. Mm -mm. I got married 19 years ago. It was a problem. It was, it was just <laughs> some oh of those gosh. choices were so bad. And you th when you're young, there's that bravado that you have that you think you know things and you don't. You like, do. I, like I did my makeup at my own wedding 12 years ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> Didn't just, just one word: blush. <laughs> So much of it, but Blush. so, but now as you learn what makes you feel like yourself yes. and you can, you can all do that. Like, I think that's something that is really important in kind of the lazy genius space anyway, right. is for people to have permission to change their minds. Yes. Like you're going to change I your idea you of things. I, I really do. I, I hope know. you change because I mean, that's, that's part of it. Like change is inevitable, mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, you change, you know, your, your partner changes, your children, they grow, they change, you know? So I think it really is about remembering that change is good. It's fine that if you thought this oversized board was really cool now and <laughs> next year you're like, you know what, that I wasn't the move, yeah, you know? Right. <laughs> I'm not into it anymore. It's giving a little bit more farmhouse than I want. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think it's fine. And I also think to me when you take photos, you know, I think because of what I do, I take a lot of photos and video. It's cool to look back and see that mm -hmm. I was in that certain season of my life where I was really into this one thing. And I'm the kind of person I will, when I'm committed to a, <laughs> when I'm committed to a thing, you know, maybe I shouldn't, maybe it's over committed, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe obsessed, you know? You know this about me. Like if I have a thing or a person, mm -hmm. I'll really drive it into the ground there. She, she, she goes hard. It's pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> well, regardless, I want everyone to feel like themselves in the kitchen. For sure. And so I think naming that, those could be two really helpful words for anybody watching. Yeah. It's like, make sure that what's around you is meaningful to That's you it. and aesthetically pleasing to you. To so. you. 
That's the biggest thing. Thank you for letting us in your kitchen, man. Well, sure. Thanks for coming over.